With the Pi Data Security Platform, you can get in-depth Active Directory reporting, group policy reporting, and exchange server reporting under one domain. With our Active Directory reporting, there are two kinds of reports you can receive, real-time modification reports and state-in-time reports. If we look at the Active Directory state reports, you can see there are four different report types listed here, including organizations' units, users, groups, and computers. The data in these reports are taken directly from recent backups performed by the solution. You can select which backup you would like the data to be taken from. Here, you can see a report for organizational units with the OU name, path, and description. You can also group reports by any selected column. Similarly, our solution has numerous reports for users, including all users, group memberships, unauthorized password changes, and more. Similar reporting is also available for groups and computer objects. In addition to state and time reports, the Pi DSP can help you to track changes happening in your domain in real time. For example, a user creation, a user deletion, or even a security group modification. Let's take a look at our modification reports and dive into object modifications. In this report, we are talking about any object inside Active Directory. It could be a user account, it could be a computer, an organizational unit, a security group, or a container. Advanced filtering is available at the top of the solution if you would like to customize the report parameters. You can set a custom data range. You can filter by object class, who modified, when, operation, where, and from. In this report, we can see members that have been added or properties that have been modified for any security group or an object. We can also see containers, DNS changes, and anything else your administrators can get up to. The details section shows you the who, what, when, and where information for the change. Here we can see the organizational unit on which the operation was performed, the user that made the change, the date and time of the operation, and the actual operation that has been performed. Using Lapide DSP, you can see how your users are interacting with your Active Directory objects and how your administrators are making changes. Here you can see our reporting section for logon slash logoff activities. This is particularly important when it comes to tracking the activity of remote workers. In this report, you can see a complete list of logon and logoff attempts by your users on the endpoints. You can see the name of the user, the date and time of the logon, the machine where they have logged on from, both the source and the destination, and the type of logon. You can determine whether it's a logoff attempt, a session locked, a logon, or disconnection to the remote terminal. Similarly, we can also help you track down failed logons inside the domains. This is particularly useful in helping to identify a brute force attack in motion. If somebody is trying to access the machines and their logon attempts are failing due to incorrect passwords or their accounts are being locked out, it will be tracked in the solution. There are numerous logon slash logoff reports including within the solution, such as domain controller logon slash logoff, users logged on to multiple computers, and concurrent logons. Infrastructure reporting, schema modifications, trust modifications, container modifications, modifications done to any organizational units, user creations and deletions, modifications to user accounts, movement of users, password resets, rename attempts, computers, security groups, and so on. Use the Pi Data Security Platform for comprehensive reporting and alerting on your Active Directory and group policy.